welcome back to another educational video it's been a little while since the last one so today i'm going to take you guys through a couple of concepts instead of one concepts that tie in together quite well so i think it's going to be very useful and it's little little things but what i found recently especially sometimes the small things can be very effective if you apply them correctly so let's just get straight into it right the first concept premium and discount you probably hear this thrown around quite a bit it's it's a very very simple concept right i think i've mentioned it before in my last fibonacci video as well so here i've got you know two diagrams anything above the 50 percent is known as your premium and anything below the 50 percent is known as your discount so these percentages first of all are going to be on your fibonacci retracement right you can use your fibonacci retracement tool on trading view to kind of just apply it on top of your range and you can see where price is trading within your range so as i've written here the concept of premium and discount aids traders in having a better idea of when to sell or buy buying something at a premium can be deemed expensive and selling at a discount is known to reduce profitability so all that means really in simple terms right if we are, we're buying something right let's say we're buying a currency pair euro usd that's what we're going to use for examples today if i'm buying euro usd do i want to buy it up here if this is our trading range and we know price is in this area in this zone would you want to buy it at the top or do you want to buy it at the bottom you want to buy it at the bottom right so when price is trading in a premium what are you looking for are you looking for longs or shorts you're looking for shorts because if you're at the top of the range you want to be selling to the bottom and same here if you're at the bottom of the range you're looking to buy at the discount and wait for price to move into the premium so it's, it's very simple there's nothing else to it it's just you know premium and discount just one half is premium one half is discount and you always want to buy at the discount and you want to sell at the premium or short from a premium so that's pretty much what there is to it i'm going to show you guys how to use that in a second that on the charts the next thing is OTE. I think a lot of people are catching on to this now. A lot of people are using it. Um, this is another concept from ICT. I taught the concept of kill zones in one of my previous videos, which is from ICT as well. But essentially, the OTE is just a Fibonacci retracement with specific levels on there. As you can see, you've got 0 0.62, 0 0.705, and 0.79. And again, one thing you should notice is that on the Fibonacci retracement, you've got your 0.5, which is the same as 50%, your zero and your one so these automatically already will be able to tell you your premium and discount once you apply it to your charts right but let's get on the charts and learn how to actually use all of this okay so here i have the daily chart for gbp usd right let's apply our retracement so if this is our previous high and this is the low this is our current trading range right Therefore, you can already see that price is trading in the discount because price is below the 50%, right? It's in this bottom half, so price is at a discount. So is it more favorable to look for shorts or is it more favorable to be looking for longs? Longs, of course, right? You want to buy and wait for price to get into this zone. And from this zone, you'd be able to sell again and, you know, wait for price to come lower but of course you can apply your ranges your fibonacci retracements to your weekly your monthly whatever time frame right but i'm just showing you guys on a daily chart it just gives you a sense of direction to start off yeah so now what you can do is let's just say you come to your lower time frame let's go five minute for example let's say you're an intraday trader like i am or even a scalper i'm going to show you guys how you can use it so here there were some really good OT swings that you could have caught, right? So it's fairly simple. One thing that I'd like to show you guys that the OTE will not always give you an entry, right? So you, just so it's clear, right? From here to here is the is one swing, and then price retraced and made a new low. This low didn't come into your discount zone so what does this mean even though price is bullish it wasn't favorable to buy here even though this low was formed because if this low isn't in the discount you don't want to be buying you don't want to be buying inside a premium 
if you then let's say we come over here we take this low for example and we put it here again price did not retrace into a discount so you would not have bought from here now if you come on to the next swing you could count it from about here to here so if I can just make it clear with my mouse this is the low this is the high right just zoom in a little cool as you can see from this low price moved up made this high and then retraced so what what could you have done you could have longed from here let's say or even let's say here right I'll get into what levels you, we use when we use the OT I'll get into that in a second but essentially your stop loss always goes below the one always and your take profit can be here could be up here for whatever reason in this specific trade let's just say you call it you know your take profit could have been somewhere up here for whatever reason if you had a daily level marked out a, you know a weekly level even a four hour whatever level you know that's going to depend on the context of your, of your charts but cool so what level do you want to use on your OTE when we draw this retracement right because as you can see the retracement the OTE was offered here right remember OTE stands for optimal trade entry so what I'm trying to say is when price retraces into your zone you're getting an optimal entry and this should make sense right so price makes a low makes a new high and guess what again it retraces into your optimal trade entry anything below the 0 0.5 is your OTE that's when it is favorable to buy when you're in the bottom half of your range yeah cool you can see that it was offered there twice back to back so you could have caught both of those could have made it easy two three percent if you risked one percent per trade so if we draw on the first one again it's from here to here cool we just zoom in a little so price when you guys to pay attention just so it's clearer to the price action in this box right so what did price do price made this low price made a new swing high and then it retraced into this OTE area so how do you know where to take your trade from do you take it from the 0 0.79 0 0.705 0 0.62 the way that I do it is look for your point of interest what is a point of interest your order blocks your fair value gaps as in your imbalances and so forth as you can see price here gave almost a perfect imbalance fill so if you guys can see this green candle here is an imbalance right from here to here is an imbalance so if we just get rid of actually let's just keep that box in and we're drawing a different box right from there to there is an imbalance just change the color for it so it's clearer okay cool price came and almost filled that complete imbalance and bounce so what could you have done here if you know that there's an imbalance in your OTE area, right, you can just line up a trade here. You could have taken a trade from, let's say, your 0 0.705 because you know that's close to 50% of your imbalance, right? And just to be on the safe side, we take at the 0 0.705 so we get tapped in. This is why the OT is such a useful tool, right? Your stop loss goes below the one your take profit can be here and as i demonstrated before it can be a lot higher if you want it to be right so this is why the ote retracement is so powerful and so useful in my opinion so cool it helps you find the entry right and it helps to apply the concept of premium and discount but placing your stop loss below the low why why do we do that right i've got a video on stop losses and validation 
one of the biggest points I make is your stop loss should be at a place where your bias or your kind of view on the charts is wrong meaning if this low is broken then that's known as a market structure shift right that means that price is about to change direction if we take out low and essentially that's why our stop loss is placed below the one because for our stop loss to get hit means price has to come and break this low and usually that will mean that price is going to move lower not always but usually that is what it will mean on top of that with the OTE it's very simple it's such a simple tool to use it just makes things clearer right I've added all these boxes and whatnot most of the time when I'm doing it by myself you know it's literally a simple process of drawing this draw on you know find my point of interest for example here it could have been the imbalance it could have been this order block even let's say you entered off the order block over here you know you just put it down to take profit at the zero stop loss just below the one and if you risk one percent you could have made 2.5 percent in this trade fairly quickly after you've done that you know you could have just moved your retracement over to this high put it on this low and as you can see your price offered another retracement from here to there retrace let's say you entered you know and from this order block even right this order block by the way from the open at the 0.62 stop loss below the one as usual and that would have been easily another 1.5 percent so in in the space of let's say from here to about here that was about a three hour period in three hours you would have done roughly three percent of course i'm simplifying it and i'm dumbing it down a little just so it's easy to understand how to use this and where to use it right and it's, it won't always be as simple and it won't always be as clear but usually if you're an intraday trader, you should see price off of these retracements, especially on your lower time frames. You know, it, it will happen constantly. If you, you can apply this on any time frame, you know, you can go to your monthly, you can come down to your three minute like I'm doing your one minute. Because as you can see from here to here, what does price do? Retraces into the OT, right? If you take it from this low to this high. Or just press to trace into the OTE and as I said it's not always going to happen but you can see look price went from this low all the way up there you know it didn't offer a retracement in here but this is why once you know that price is trending upwards that's the important part here once you know that price is trending a specific way you can apply this and you can use it and the thing here is if we know but at least if we think price is going to trend upwards on GBP USD, right? We get in a buy from here and you can leave a runner. Your 2% trade could turn into, you know, something like 4% if you leave a small runner. The point is that you always want to be on side. You don't want to be off side. We don't want to wait for price to make a swing high and then sell down here. We're not, that's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to buy because we think price is going to go up today. Because imagine... Imagine you were up here, right? And you you expected that this candle made a new high or somewhere up here and you tried to sell down to your OTE. Imagine you tried to sell from here to down here. Price never came back. Your stop loss would have got hit almost instantly in the space of minutes. So that's that's the another good thing about OTE using it. You know it just makes a lot of concepts simple it just brings together a lot of different things and if you're using it correctly it should help in your trading quite a lot especially if you're a beginner it's kind of doing the job for you with lots of different concepts including premium discount the idea of your stop loss being an invalidation and another thing is right if i start using ote and my ote gets invalidated let's say price push below the slow what happens I know that price is bearish on this time frame let's say just a three minute time frame correct if price is bearish all I need to do is wait for the next retracement on the next retracement you can then decide okay my bias was wrong today's not a bullish day it's going to be bearish you start taking shorts remember price moves and it pulls back price moves 
retraces, moves, retraces, moves, retraces again and again. It does the same thing every time. And of course, I'm showing you a bullish example. It will be the exact same but opposite for a bearish example. So I hope all of you guys understand that. I do think it is a fairly simple concept to use once you wrap your head around it. You have to apply some chart time. When I was initially learning this, you know, it didn't just come straight away. It took me a while. And I had to keep using it on my charts again and again to see how it works. I think a good way to practice will be coming on your lower time frames because I feel like a lot of OT retracements are offered, a lot of different examples that you can, you know, repeatedly use and recognize. And once you're comfortable with it, you can take it live. I hope all of that video made sense. I hope I didn't make it too complicated. I did try to keep it quite simple, but I know these things they're easier for some people to pick up and not others so if you have any questions all my socials are shown i also have a podcast it's called the 10 percent podcast i have episodes releasing weekly every sunday i'd appreciate it if you guys can all go give it a look i'm going to put all the links below i've got i've also got a new instagram page where we're selling license plates for cars and this time i'm going to try to stay active with the content and push out a video at least once a week so Put your notifications on and you're going to be seeing a lot more from me.